Well, Black and White Network, let's talk about the left. The left is not a friend of women. For one thing, they disrespect women because now all of a sudden they don't know what a woman is. When Ketanji Brown Jackson was uh, being confirmed for the Supreme Court, she didn't know what a woman was. You know, to the left, being a woman is nothing more than emotion. That is very, very dangerous to women. Now, guys, I must say this. It probably all started with Barack Hussein Obama. At the end of his second term, he was actually pushing to have biological men in the restrooms with your young children. He was pushing the whole trans agenda. That is very, very dangerous, folks. Now, the story we're going to be talking about here. I want the left to give an explanation for this. I really, really want an explanation for this, folks, because women are not safe when it comes to the left. But however, women, for the most part, they vote Democrat. Now, when it comes to black women, oh, boy, there's something like 96 percent voting for Democrats that endanger them. Check this out. High risk sex offender allegedly dresses as woman. Takes photos of females in public restroom, then offender brandishes pepper ball gun after being chased by victim, according to police. Now, here's the funny thing, folks. This scumbag right here dressed up as a woman and the woman actually identified this person as a man. And she was right about that. This is a biological man. This person, this man is not trans. But maybe he decided, you know what, let me uh, go ahead and um, dress up like a woman. You know, I can just bypass as a woman. But he was he actually got busted for trying to uh, invade the privacy of women. But this is what the left wants. Let's read this, guys. A repeat sex offender was arrested on Christmas Eve after being accused of taking photographs of females in a public bathroom at the. Holland Mall in Fort Worth, Texas, and brandishing a pepper ball gun. Around 4.30 p.m. Saturday, police received a call that a man with a gun had allegedly threatened to shoot a woman. You notice they didn't say a woman with a gun because it wasn't. According to authorities, the incident began when a woman using the bathroom noticed a cell phone pointing at her underneath the stall. Quote, while she was using the restroom, she observed that she believed to be a she she observed what she believed to be a cell phone coming from underneath the stall, said Fort Worth Police Corporal Joshua Johnson. The victim exited the stall and chased after the perpetrator, whom she described as a man dressed as a woman. The suspect was later identified as 45 year old Douglas Egan a repeat sex offender. The female victim followed Egan outside where another man attempted to intervene and stop the suspect from leaving the premises. Quote, at that point, the suspect pulled out and presented what appeared to be a gun, said Johnson. He pulled it from a backpack, which he was uh, carrying and pointed it at that first witness and then continued to flee. Multiple witnesses told police that they observed the suspect uh, change out of women's clothing. No one was injured during the incident and no shots were fired. Now, I'm wondering what the left is going to actually say about this. They need to explain this right here. This is what they want to happen. And this actually endangers the lives of women and young children. Egan was later arrested at a nearby apartment complex and charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and improper photo video in a bath dress room. Police determined that the gun the suspect had um, brandished during the incident was a pepper ball gun. According to the uh, Texas sex offender, sex offenders uh, registry, Egan is considered a, quote, high risk offender who has been convicted multiple times for indecent exposure. 
Egan was released from prison earlier this year after serving seven years for a felony indecent exposure conviction involving a 16 year old female. Okay, this man needs to be locked up forever. He should never, ever be released from prison. Uh, Quote, thank you to the uh, Good Samaritans for uh, stepping up who saw a confrontation they deemed to be inappropriate and just got involved. It takes the community getting involved to protect us, said Johnson. Wow. So there you have it, guys. This scumbag now has been caught. Hopefully he never gets out of jail again. But hey, I don't know. This man should have not been in a women's restroom. But this is what the left wants. They want biological men in the restroom. It's going to be funny, guys, if he actually comes out and say, hey, I'm a woman. I belong in there. Even though you actually had a cell phone and you were actually filming stuff, you should have not been filming. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually tries to play that role, but it shouldn't even be a factor. It should not. This is a biological man. What if, what if that was actually a little girl in the stall? What if that actually happened? That That's disgusting. But leftists, they want men in women's restrooms. It is just inappropriate votes. It just is. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. At least they got him. Hopefully he never, ever gets out of jail again. But you never know. We will have to see. This is a biological man. He was actually identified as a man, not a woman. So leftists, what do you have to say about that? Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time.